Hello Year 7, it's Mrs Harris uh, and um, I've got a presentation for you today. Uh, I want to start by saying that we have seen uh, Year 7 make enormous progress in so many areas uh, since you have joined the Academy, particularly around our values where we see some amazing hard work and lessons and we've seen some amazing examples of integrity and kindness. And there's one area that I would really like us to think about where um, I think we can make more progress. And that is in how we move ourselves around the academy uh, and how um, and thinking about our expectations uh, when we are in different locations in the academy. So that is what um, this presentation is about. And that is what I would like to think about. And I want us to start off by thinking about our academy mission because all of our decisions uh, that we make at Bridge come back to our academy mission. So our mission is to ensure that every student will succeed in a good university or equivalent and thrive in their chosen field and live a great life. And like I said, everything that we do comes back to this mission and making sure that we can uh, enable every student to be able to achieve in this mission. Now this year, we have got some additional challenges that we also need to consider as well. And that is because we are living in a world where COVID-19 exists and we need to make sure that everybody is as safe and well as possible. So that is why I've put us, uh, this presentation together today to think about how uh, we can all um, collectively work together within that environment uh, and really um, achieve every single one of our expectations that will then mean that we are able to be successful with our mission and as safe and well as possible. So I'm going to start off by thinking about our meetings. So remember, as soon as you come to your meeting location, uh, you uh, need to be in star, okay, which means that you'll be standing still, you'll be standing straight, you'll be tracking the speaker, you'll be paying full attention and you'll be respecting everybody around you. And we expect you to be in star throughout the entire meeting. And uh, we see you guys do this uh, at, at meetings all the time, but it's really important that we just keep reminding ourselves and keep actively working on being as good as we can uh, to be in that, um, in that mindset of being in star. OK, now remember that as well as us getting focused in our meetings on our lessons ahead, which is really important, getting ourselves really focused. Remember that also at those meetings, your meeting leader will also often be sharing really important messages with you. So it's really essential that you are listening as actively as possible and remaining silent and still and that you are modeling that as well to all of your peers. Okay, so start as soon as we are in our meeting location and all the way through our meeting location. The next thing that I want us to think about is how we then move from our meeting to our classroom. So remember uh, that as we are walking around, um, we always walk from our meeting in silence, and we are always in single file. Now, by single file, we mean that you will stand directly behind the person in front of you, not slightly to the side of them so you can see what's going on, but you will always walk directly behind them. And this, again, is for our health and safety to make sure that we are using the space as well as we can and as safely as we can. And we are also making sure that we are walking with pace and purpose never running but we are walking with pace and purpose so remember here okay whenever you are walking around the building there will always be other year groups who are in classes so it's essential that we walk in silence so that we don't disturb their learning in the same way that when you are in classes they will be walking around the building and they also have to work, walk in silence to make sure that they don't disturb your learning okay on our stairs, we walk on the left or we walk on the right. 
So often we will have two classes using the stairs at the same time. So this is where it is absolutely essential that we are staying in single file, that we are silently walking to our class, and that we are staying on either the left hand side, right against the wall, or we're on the right hand side, right against the wall or against the railings, depending on where the railings are. Your meeting leader will always tell you and they'll tell your teacher who will remind you as well if you should be going up on the left or on the right. Okay, and then the important thing is, as long as you stay directly behind the person in front of you, then you will be in the right position. So, as you can see on this image here, if there are two classes using the stairs at the same time, there should be a clear gap. There should be a clear space in between both classes at all times. And you should have that all the way as you're walking up to your zone until you get to your classroom. Now I'd like to think about how we walk to break or lunch from our class. So again, we walk silently. And we know that we walk silently because we know there will always be other year groups in classes as we are walking around the building. And it is essential that we do not disturb their learning. We stay in single file. So we are using the space. We are staying in a nice orderly line and we are never running. In the academy, we are never running. And we know that if we are running in the academy, then we are going to be issued a detention because we know that we are then potentially putting somebody else in danger. We know that running in the academy is dangerous. So we walk with pace and purpose, but we are never running. I'd also like to share a reminder with you all about lunch. So at lunchtime, everybody must go to the canteen. And this way we know that every single person as you're coming through to the canteen will all have sanitized your hands before you enter the canteen. If you are eating or not eating, you must remain in the canteen. And that is because we need everybody to stay with their year group bubble at lunchtime. And that is why everybody stays together in the canteen. After you have eaten your lunch, Miss Reader will dismiss table by table from the canteen to go out to the playground when it is safe to do so, when there are no other year group bubbles outside. And as you leave the canteen, remember that you must not run. The only place we can run outside, again, for our health and safety, is the cage. So we must not run, even if we're really excited about being able to get up to the cage to play some ball games or whatever it is that we're, we're playing up there, we must not run on the way. And that is for our health and safety and for the safety of everyone around us. So remember, our year group bubbles must always stay together and must always be kept separate to other year group bubbles. Okay, so the final thing that I want us to think about is, is how we use a space in the playgrounds. So remember, okay, no running unless we are in the cage, and that is for everybody's safety. No jumping, similarly, and it's for everybody's safety. Our playground is on so many different levels and we don't have an enormous amount of space. So it's really important that we are being as safe as we can in that space, which is why we say no running, no jumping. And we also, because of COVID-19, as we've explained many, many times, say no deliberate touching. OK, so the only place that we are allowed to run is in the cage where you're very, very welcome to run. That is where we would like you to run. Uh, and uh, we will often have um, a range of balls in there so you can play different ball sports. But remember, OK, do not run on the way into the cage. Do not run on your way out of the cage. OK, so that cage as you go in, then you're allowed to run in there. And as you come out, you must remember that we are back then in our big communal space on lots of different levels. And for all of our safety, then we are not running. We're not jumping. And at no time anywhere. Uh, do we allow any deliberate touching? And we know that that is because of COVID. So health and safety of every student is an absolute priority. And we must all follow those rules to keep everyone as safe as possible. 
And they are so important that if you do break those rules, you will be issued with a one hour detention after school. And we do not want to put anyone in detention after school for any reason. But I don't want to put any of you in detention for these reasons, okay? So you must do everything you can to remember them, okay? And that is why we practice, 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 and why if ever we do see anybody doing any of the, these things, we will always talk to you about it to make sure that you are really, really clear to give you every chance of not doing it again. So I do not expect to see anyone doing these things, okay? It's for all of our health and safety. So let's make sure that we're doing everything we can to remember all of these things and then making sure that we are using the space, using our building, using our space outside, walking around, moving around, in and outside of our building to make sure that we can be as successful as possible and also as safe as possible. Thank you, Year 7. Have a really good day and I will look forward to seeing you later.